Let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Gopal Krishnan. Mr. Gopal Krishnan VC is Director of Automotive and EV at Government of Telangana. Coming from an electrical and electronics engineering background, he has a PG in Management, Operations and Marketing from Indian School of Business. Earlier in his current position, he was involved in program management and business development activities at Igarshi Motors India for over five years. Previously, Mr. Gopal Krishnan was EA to CEO at Agile Electric and worked with NTPC in operations department at Thermal Power Station. Today, Mr. Gopal Krishnan will discuss government's initiatives for automotive and EV space. Please welcome Mr. Gopal Krishnan. Uh, see, government of Telangana, like I mentioned, for the last three years, we've been uh, doing kind of good in the adoption side as well as in getting more manufacturing here. But uh, like I said, we had a goal of about 30, 32,000 crores of investments, uh, creating 1.2 lakhs of job. But we have almost reached uh, there about 70, 70 to 80 percent. So that is when uh, we ideated and again sat down with a lot of uh, stakeholders. And uh, that is when the uh, Telangana Mobility Valley, uh, the idea of TMV was born. So uh, if you look at, uh, uh, you know, Hyderabad, there is something called Genome Valley. So I'm not sure if you would be aware of it, but uh, from Hyderabad, about one third of the world's vaccine is manufactured uh, today. So as on today. So all this is because of uh, the cluster or the ecosystem that was created about a couple of decades back. So during uh, the earlier governments, so then it was the uh, United uh, Andhra Pradesh. So at that time, they envisioned that, you know, if you have such a valley, if you have all of these players together as an ecosystem, as a cluster, there would be a lot of scale that you can uh, reach to. And that today has uh, helped in, you know, Hyderabad uh, reaching this kind of a stature. And a similar thing is what we are trying to plan uh, for uh, the automotive ecosystem. So since it is going to be all new age mobility and sustainable mobility, we thought that this, this should completely be for not IC engine, but, uh, you know, for more of uh, electric and uh, hydrogen related uh, ecosystem. So under TMV, uh, we have about uh, three or four clusters. So the first one is for the OEMs to set up their base. And uh, over there, we have thousands of acres and uh, any OEM who wants to come along, even with his uh, supplier base, can move uh, to that particular uh, location. And we've already uh, started uh, giving it to a few of the companies, uh, giving land to a few of the companies and it is in different stage of uh, construction. The second uh, location, second cluster that we thought of was uh, for the energy storage itself. So it's called an energy park. And that is where you would know that recently Amar Raja uh, are setting up their uh, you know, EV uh, lithium ion batteries uh, manufacturing. So they would be also bringing down their suppliers, you know, from the cell level, from anode, cathode, the electrolytes, the separators. So all of this ecosystem would be coming up over there. And we are also talking to a few more uh, companies uh, to, you know, to be included in that particular ecosystem. The third and uh, the most, uh, uh, I think, vibrant uh, uh, thing that I would like to bring to everyone's notice here today is the main cluster of TMV, which is the proving grounds and uh, testing labs. So I think a uh, few, one of the other uh, panelists also mentioned that the one of the major hurdles is uh, to not just uh, produce or not just to design and uh, develop the right part, but to uh, you know test it and prove it. So in that space, we thought that you know unless and until we have a solid uh, testing agency and everything under one roof it would not be very uh, practical to have large scale manufacturing in Telangana. So that is where uh, we spoke to uh, a, a very global company in the testing space. It's called TUV Rainland. Uh, and along with them, an Indian co company, which is into testing, it's called Automotive Test Systems. Both of them are joining hands and partnering this effort in setting up uh, testing tracks and the proving ground. So there is going to, and, and of course, and also the uh, associated labs and uh, validation centers uh, within the same uh, ecosystem. So that is going to help bring all of this uh, testing in the backyard of uh, the manufacturers. And uh, uh, 18 or so different uh, uh, labs have been identified. Few of them uh, very new to India, India's first of its kind. 
for example i think we already have a few ev labs so i wouldn't call that as the first uh, but the first of its kind uh, lab to prove the sensors you know for a cav a connected autonomous vehicle that is going to be available in this uh, particular space and uh, also, of course, you mentioned uh, Mr. Sachin has worked a lot in the NVH. So we have uh, NVH testing labs, we have EMI, EMC labs. So all of this has been identified. And in the first phase, uh, the ones that are not available in the other ecosystems, other testing centers, like, for example, ARAI or ICAT or be it GARC, or there are a couple more in Chennai. So in nowhere, whatever is, you know, the first of its kind is what we are planning to come up with in the first uh, 24 months. And then... Going forward in the next two to three years after that, we would have uh, uh, all the other durability track and gradient, everything. So that is going to certainly uh, attract more investment into Telangana. And uh, we are just waiting. Uh, mostly in the next couple of weeks, we will have a major announcement also to that extent. Uh, so that said, uh, this TMV we feel is going to attract about 6 billion USD of investment, which is close to 50,000 crores and create employment for 4 lakhs. So my uh, submission to the uh, viewers here and also, you know, the uh, panelists who have had so much experience and who have companies of their own and, you know, you're man managing companies, do look at, uh, you know, Telangana, understand more on what we have and what the government is doing uh, so that, you know, you can also have some synergic uh, work here. Apart from that, uh, we, we do a, quite a lot in the skilling front. So uh, I talked about three things, the, uh, the space where, you know, we give uh, OEMs vehicle manufacturing uh, uh, cluster. Then I talked about the energy, uh, energy park. And then the third being the testing and validation cluster. The fourth that I wanted to bring your notice on is the uh, skilling side, uh, where I am also including the innovation uh, front to it, uh, innovation side to it. So we have the world's largest uh, incubation center. It's called T-Hub. And a lot of, I think about 50 to 60 uh, startups in the mobility front uh, have uh, taken space or are partnering with T-Hub, you know, in uh, understanding more on how the pricing should be in getting more piloting opportunities in understanding uh, where they could uh, join hands with the industry or, uh, you know, of course, to get funded. So <clears throat> that is something which is going very well in the last two, three years. And also on the skilling side, a lot of these majors like Bosch, we have in Hyderabad the technical centers of ZF, Bosch, Stellantis, Mobis, Ficosa. So many of them, they are partnering with uh, Academia uh, to come up with, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, centers of excellences. For example, Bosch, which is already doing quite a lot in the automotive cybersecurity, uh, they are joining hands with Bits Hyderabad. Mobis uh, is into vehicle dynamics and ADAS related stuff. So they are, uh, they have joined hands with uh, Bits Hyderabad. Similarly, Stellantis is working uh, on something. Uh, Stellantis is working on AI with uh, IIIT Hyderabad. Uh, ZF is uh, trying to start conversation and, uh, you know, understand the scope of the work that would be uh, with NIT Warangal. So a lot of things happening. And uh, similarly, when we have the first conversation with a pot potential investor, what we tell them is whatever skill that you need on the work, on the uh, line of work on day one of your commercial uh, manufacturing, just let us know and we will move it to an institution called TASK, Telangana Academy for Skills and Knowledge. So TASK uh, kind of trains thrice the number of people in those particular skill sets that the companies want, you know, on day one of production. And then whomever, uh, how many of a number that the company wants to recruit can, they can take, uh, you know, take them and the others would be just available in the uh, talent pool. So this is a proven concept. It is not uh, lip service, but uh, in the case of aerospace and defense, uh, I think uh, Tata Boeing had a similar such uh, requirement and uh, uh, in different skill sets, number of people were trained and on day one, on day day one first hour of production the quality was checked and there was not even one defect and this was even um, announced in the annual report uh, day of tata tata boeing so similarly in the automotive space also we are trying to do the same thing and this is something i think which is very unique for telangana which is which other states don't have i feel uh, to the extent i know of and uh, similarly uh, there are like 200 plus itis in the state and uh, of course we all know that uh, 
<laughs> ideas bring a lot to the table when it comes to manufacturing and production so we are trying to again connect uh, uh, industry or manufacturers with uh, the closest ITIs. For example, we have a very large center of Mahindra and Mahindra in Zahirabad. So they have their uh, auto manufacturing, uh, the three wheelers and four wheelers like Mahindra Jito, Mahindra Alpha, and also tractor manufacturing and tractor related products. So for that, about 4,000 people work in Mahindra. So we have connected the, uh, you know, the uh, talent acquisition, the uh, HR of Mahindra with uh, the closest uh, three ITIs and uh, they have co-created uh, uh, courses that you know people can go through participants can go through and then finally get placed in Mahindra itself so such uh, talent related uh, skilling related uh, things we are trying to uh, solve and have more talent pool in the system and this is not just at the uh, you know blue collar level but also on the white collar uh, level but also on the management side because we are trying to do the same thing <clears throat> through the COEs and also through private uh, companies who are helping us uh, talent or, you know, skill different people and get them into, you know, the different companies that are there in Hyderabad. So uh, I would, uh, I would uh, end here. I think it's about 10 minutes. So if there is anything more, uh, I will be available. Thank you, Mr. Gopalakrishnan for explaining government initiatives for automotive and EV space. 